Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's off map video, we'll be covering the most least used Void Titan Exotic in game currently, which is the Second Chance Exotic. These exotics on release were terrible to use as they lacked the ability to actually do his job correctly, which was to simply break barrier shields. However, over time these are now being changed to one shot barriers no matter their difficulty, and allegedly, next season these exotics will also apply a weakened effect and also allow users to gain a charge back upon stunning a champ with them. Now, whether this is true or not doesn't really matter as I want to show you how to build around the exotic the best way possible with the newly updated book crafting, but also have some fun with them in whatever content you choose. So, let me show you what I've got cooking. To start, you're going to want to have controlled demolition, where void abilities of any type or volatile explosions make the target volatile. Defeating said volatile targets grants health to you and allies. And then you'll want offensive bulwark, where upon having an overshield, your grenades charge faster, you have increased melee range and damage, and melee finally blows extended duration of overshields. The subclass effect will focus on providing users a best of both worlds set up for damage and survival. Flexible in nature and design, the final product does not need to have the following same aspects unless the user wants to make full use of their abilities with more fragments option. Now, fragments used are echo persistent, where avoid buffs have increased duration, echo provision, where damaging targets with grenades grant melee energy, echo of cessation, where finisher final blows makes expanded targets volatile, and echo of remnants, where lingering grenade effects duration are increased. So this setup is simple, we are using the following to easily build up melee energy and grenade energy back upon using our exotic, and then repeating the process over and over again. With Echo Persistent combined with Offensive Bulwark and Repulsive Brace Weapon, this will allow us to have a higher uptime with getting grenade energy back faster. More grenade energy then means Echo Provision will grant us melee energy back in larger amounts, and then Control Demolition once active will grant us health and volatile hit on targets. Then, add on grenade and melee based mods to the mix, and you have a super strong build that can be taken into endgame if you desire. For the mods and stats section, we will want to have a high discipline stat, as this here will feed back into the rest of the stats given, so a tier 7 to 10 is always recommended to aim for. From here, you only need to have the absolution and distribution mod, as though we are using the vortex grenade which has a higher cooldown rate, the amount of overshields we can create isn't that hard to do or action. Plus, with mods such as Volatile Flow available only for this season, it means overshields creation via Repulsive Brace is a lot more easier to achieve. On top of that, you can also get an overshield easily by just using your charge melee, so uptime will always be high here no matter what. Your resilience can also be high depending on how much damage reduction you wish to have. The higher you get, the better, but also having that tier 7 is suitable as we can make use of the ability cooldown mods we have and Echo Cessation second effect. Your strength of course can go one of two ways, you can max a stat out so the cooldown rate along with mods and fragments etc will come back a lot faster over a few seconds, and thus don't need to worry about having to build into them too much. The other choice now will be to have it around tier 5-6 to six, and then use your mods to fill in the vest which is what I did. Remember, the plan here is to use my grenades to feed energy back to the melee and use the orbs of power and overshields created to create a simple feedback loop. As we have done the first bit fine, we now need to do the mods, so momentum transfer times 2 and invigoration are the ideal strength mods to have with getting your energy back fairly quickly. Along with absolution and distribution, this should be more than enough for you to get your ability back as long as you create plenty of orbs of power to access. Now for armor charge mods, Having charged up times 2 is a must for the extra armor charge slot it will provide. To support the armor charges further, having the Void Siphon, Firepower, and Reaper mod will give you the most simplest way of creating armor charges outside of what's currently available. This will help with the Void Surge mod I have on for that extra bonus damage being applied to my Void Weapon of choice. This then leaves you with a few choices to pick with what's currently left over. So, Special Armor Finder is great if you intend to use a Stasis Fusion Rifle with Chill Clip as its one perk. Ashes to Assets will help a lot with getting our super up and ready, and thus use our bubble, for example, to enhance our damage more. 
And then proximity ward is nice, as this will give you a brief overshield as well upon doing a finisher. Now lastly for the weapons, you have a lot of room to pick here in terms of primary, secondary and heavy being used. A weapon with a positive place on it is a must as we need to make full use of the offensive bulwark effect it provides. You can of course use the bastion aspect if you don't have a weapon with the following, but you will lose out on some of the fragments effects being offered, so do think this part through before action. As mentioned in my last video, the Velas X from last season is an amazing PvE void pulse weapon that most people should have gotten and can give you a 50% damage buff if you activate Golden Tricorn's effect via your abilities. With a setup like this, I can see the following weapon making the rounds with how good it can be in most content. After that we then have the Heavy, which is flexible for the users, but the 2 tail Fox is a great weapon to have as its damage is superb against most targets you face. It also has a large reserve to make full use of, and with Bricks from Beyond, you can almost use this weapon as a sort of primary, if you will. But of course, any weapon is good here, and the Red Herring from Witch Queen is a good alternative to get, as it's both easy to grind for, has good perks to use, and is a good starting place for most new players. So the overall conclusion is that the following exotic when it was first released failed to appeal to a number of players because of the lack of exotic effect it provided upon being used in most content. Having two shield throws and being able to break a barrier champ shield with them sounds great on paper, but upon use of them, they felt exceptionally weak. Now of course they have been rectified to actually one-shot barriers, but they haven't been widely picked up as a steal as they still fall short. Now if the supposed upcoming buff is true, I can see the exotic being widely picked up as those benefits could bring a whole new level of play for players to explore. With that, I've created a setup around them to where they will greatly benefit from the buff, and also allow players to use the build however they like. It provides a constant source of ability regen through base means, a near constant supply of overshields and damage reduction when being applied right, and an easy to use setup that requires you to remember the tempo required to keep the build going. I've used this in endgame and even recently in Grand Masters, and just like most void builds, it can do really well with locking down combatants who bunch up too much. As mentioned before, you can use the Bastion aspect for even faster grenade regen, but this is only if you are limited on what is shown in the build. Outside of that, the current build can be used in most content, but of course there's always better option to pick. We will have to see if the upcoming buff is worth the weight it provides, but generally, what do you think of the build? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below, but at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.